Hey everybody, it's Babette with Haggerty Dog Training in Palm Beach County, Florida. And today I'm going to talk to you about leash reactivity. Does your dog lunge and pull on the leash when you're walking down the street? Maybe seeing people, seeing rabbits, seeing other dogs? Does he bark and lunge and scare the heck out of you? If he does or she does, that's not an uncommon problem. Now, there are a lot of reasons why this could be going on. It could be a nervous dog that's feeling anxious, a dog that really has a strong prey drive and he wants to chase down the other things that he sees moving. A lot of times people will train their dog to do this without realizing it. What ends up happening is their dog barks and starts to pull and the owner says, oh, ooh, and see how I tighten up and I pull up on the leash? Then the dog does it again and the owner says, oh, they catch their breath, they tense up, they hold a tight leash. And then as time goes on, the owner sees the dog that always triggers their dog or the thing that always triggers their dog and they say, oh my God, it's gonna happen. Oh my God, here it goes, here it goes. And the dog reacts. So what ends up happening is the owner sends that tension right down the end of the leash. Every time the owner says, oh, they hold their breath, they hold a tight leash and they send that tension down to the end of the leash and the dog responds to that. Now, take that a step further, I'm going to call it the barroom brawl analogy. And this is something my dad, Captain Haggerty, taught me. The barroom brawl analogy. And he would always say to the lady, I know you've never witnessed a barroom brawl. And he'd say to the gentleman dog owner, I know you've never been in a barroom brawl. But if you ever watch one on TV, what happens is two guys, generally it's two guys fighting, and their friends are pulling them back and holding them back and restraining them back. And their friends getting bigger and bolder. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. They get bigger and bolder. And they keep going and it eggs them on because they're being restrained. The more you restrain something, an animal, a dog, a person, the more they wanna get away, the bolder they become. But if these guys in the barroom brawl would shove their friends and say, go ahead and kill each other, we don't care those guys would get much smaller, much more quickly. They'd say to their, their opponent, peace out, man, you know, just a misunderstanding, and they walk away. Same thing with the dog. We hold a tight leash, we restrain the dog. They restrain the dog. That's how they train dogs to fight. That's how they train dogs to attack. They build up the dog's frustration level. When you're holding back, that's one reason why I don't use harnesses. When you're holding back, they become more and more frustrated. You'll notice, walk down the street, walk through your neighborhood, all the little dogs that are on harnesses, they're at the end of the leash, bah, 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 barking and lunging at everything because they're on a harness, they're being restrained. What do you think sled dogs are on harnesses? Because it teaches them to pull more comfortably. So what happens is, with leash reactivity, if you would move the dog in the opposite direction, teach them the meaning of the word no, move them, throw them off center and go in the opposite direction, that's going to help solve the problem. Your dog starts pulling this way, go that way. Your dog pulls that way, go that way. Move away from the situation. Throw your dog off balance. That's the fastest and most effective way to get your dog off their trigger and stop the reactivity. A lot of people say, oh, just I'll dangle a treat in front of the dog and you can't even get the dog's attention. I, I've had many owners who tell me, well, the last trainer told me to just dangle a treat. You don't even have the dog's attention. The dog is lunging and pulling and barking at the other thing. And if you can get the dog's attention, the dog is, rah, 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 rah. oh, I got a treat. So what is he learning? He's reinforcing that behavior. If you would just redirect your dog, take your dog, give them a little leash correction, which I don't like to show on this because it's something that you really have to be taught in person but my students know how to do this. You give a little leash correction, you tell them no, and turn around and walk the other way. Dog starts pulling that way, turn around and walk the other way. The dog is going to learn to focus on you and it's going to throw them off balance and it's going to break that tension that's at the end of the leash and it's going to throw them off balance and they're no longer going to be agitated. And that's the best way to solve leash reactivity. For these and other tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have a question or a topic you would like for us to answer, please reach out to us at HaggertyDog.com or email at info at HaggertyDog.com or you can call us at 561-789-5628. Until then, 
happy training and have a great day.